So I want to debug this, right? So you need to right click on this and then debug procedure. So once you try to click on this, it will ask you the value of the input parameters. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's session, we are going to discuss how you can debug any store procedure. Okay. So we may see if the store procedure is quite lengthy. We often find it difficult to see how the logic is flowing. Okay? So for that case, we are going to see how we can debug it. So before proceeding, if you like this kind of content, please do not forget to subscribe our channel. So let's see, we have this server. Okay. So inside this server, we have this database, right? And inside this database, we have one of the database as engineer's desk. So if you go inside it, we have programmability inside this, you can find the store procedure. Okay. So uh, I will be using this store procedure as an example to show you how you can debug it. Okay. But before that, let me show you what this store procedure is. Okay. So let me just uh, open it. So this is a very simple store procedure. Okay. So it is taking employee ID as an input parameter and then it is querying this table employee table and then employee info table. Okay. So when you execute this uh, store procedure by supplying this employee ID, you are going to get the result from both these tables. Okay. Let me show you how you can execute this here, the uh, new query. And in order to execute any store procedure, you will be writing simply execute a store procedure and then you will be supplying the employee id so let me supply one as an employee id and see what result it is giving me okay so if you see this is giving me result from both these tables okay this is employee table and this is employee info table right so let me show you how you can debug it so let's type uh, visual studio so you have to go to this microsoft visual studio okay this one and you need to open it So you can also open this with a code or you can open it without code. Okay. So let me open it without code. You will be seeing this view. Okay. So let's go to the view and open the SQL server object explorer. Okay. So here in the left side, you can see we are getting the SQL server, but as of now, there is no server connected. Okay. So let's right click on the SQL server and add SQL server. Okay. So if you see what is the server we have connected to so you can verify from here also or you can just uh, go to the connection let's say change connection so this is your server name okay so let me go to the visual studio again so if you see the local okay so here it is suggesting you these are the three servers you have so ideally we have connected to this so you can simply select it or you can provide the server name here okay? so let me select it from here so if you see the details have been filled okay one more thing you need to check here is the trust server certificate so if it is true then you can make it to false if it is not allowing you to connect and this thing encryption okay so this encryption if it is true let me see whether it is allowing me to connect or not it is not allowing me to connect so what i can do is i will make this encryption as optional okay so i can select this option and now if i connect it it will allow me okay so we have connected to our server okay uh, let me just expand this so it will show our database also so this is our database engineers desk inside which we have uh, our store procedure okay let me expand it programmability store procedures and then here we go we have this store procedure okay now i want to debug this right so you need to right click on this and then debug procedure so once you try to click on this it will ask you the value of the input parameter so if you remember we have this input parameter employee id right so in order to debug, you need to supply the value as well. So let me supply one as employee ID and then click on OK. So you can see our debugger is here, OK, which means we have started debugging, right? So we have to go inside this store procedure also, right? So, so as of now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do F10, OK? Function F10. So it came to this, right? Now you want to go inside this store procedure. So you have to click F11. Okay. So I am clicking function and F11. So if you see it has came inside this store procedure. Okay. So let me just click on F10. F10. So now when you click on this statement F10, okay, it is going to give you the result as well. So see, these are the two results it has given. So one from the employee table and another from the employee info table, right? So that is how you can debug the store procedure inside SQL Server by using the Visual Studio. So that is all guys. We'll meet up in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.